Sunday morning, WBOZ meteorologist Alex Seymour takes us to school in his latest Weather 101, where he tells us how Mother Nature determines what type of precipitation we get during a storm, from rain to snow to grapple. Take a look. It's been a wild last month of weather here in Delmarva. We've seen every form of precipitation that you could possibly see, including this rare form of precipitation, grapple, which fell just this past Sunday. But how do we determine the precipitation types that will fall? It all has to deal with the temperature from the cloud layer all the way down to the surface. So when you're looking at a temperature profile for rain, you're going to start out a little cold at the immediate cloud layer and it warms up and then you're going to see temperatures above freezing all the way down to the surface resulting in that liquid precipitation. Snow, it's the opposite of that. You're going to see cold temperatures from the cloud layer all the way down to the surface so temperatures stay below freezing resulting in those snowflakes falling. Freezing rains, a little different. You see a layer, a thick layer of warmer temperatures that melts the snow. And then at the immediate surface, you see temperatures below freezing that result in that glaze of ice. With sleet, it's a smaller layer of warmer temperatures. It melts the snow that's falling from the clouds. But then you see this thick layer of colder temperatures that allows those, that melted snow to refreeze into those ice pellets that you see bouncing on surfaces. And then, what we saw just this past Sunday was the grapple. It all has to do with the instability of the atmosphere. So you start out with the snowflakes, you see the instability, and then you get that lift. It lifts those snowflakes up. And then you have those water droplets forming onto the snowflakes, forming a small crust. And that's what falls to the ground and looks like little dipping dots falling to the surface. All right, for the next Weather 101, tune in next week to WBOC. Weather 101 with Alex Seymour. Another lesson next Sunday.